ready for this? We're off to Aldi. The basket's already full. We've only been done like one. We've walked about a meter. Right, we've done the fajitas. I need to wrap up my wrap. Today is going to be my productive day. So I'm not going to lie. I haven't actually had that productive of a morning. Right, we're in the car. <laughs> we're on our way. Well, we're not on our way, obviously, because we're not driving. Fingers crossed we get a car parking space. I'm so scared. Let's do this. Let's do, do this. Let's, Let's get the music. <laughs> Wow, I love when a camera focuses. We can see it. Guys, we've got all snacks. <laughs> You've never had one. Isn't yeah. this so good? Olga's just told me she's never tried sweet book before. It's like winter. Oh my God, now the light's gone off. So yeah, this is basically it. Good morning guys and welcome back to a new weekly vlog so today is obviously Monday and today I have quite a busy day we're actually about to go to Audi to do a food shop I feel like I'm always doing food shops in these vlogs but you know we're going back again and then I actually have lectures two till six I didn't realize I had a two till four usually on a Monday I just have four till six but because we're starting a new module they've given us like an introductory lecture today so I'm gonna be like in lectures solidly for four hours which is gonna be great fun I've never had that before I don't think I may have had it like once maybe but not very often so today might go quite quickly I probably won't film that much because all we're doing is going shopping and then I'll be in lectures I'm so glad I'm actually vlogging uni this time because last year I didn't really vlog much I only vlogged at Christmas so the fact that I can like get all of this on camera I'm so excited for and I'm hoping that they will get better closer to Christmas as well because we'll be doing more Christmassy things and going out a little bit more but at the moment it's just so manic with work and everything else that it's just not possible to film that much outside of my flat. Right, you ready for this? We're off to Aldi, we're nearly here. Right, should we get the list out now? Ah uh, yeah. We've got made a list of everything we need. We actually need quite a few things to be honest. Uh, not so much. Shopping on, we went shopping on Friday. No, it's Saturday. So, do you know? It's quite a lot. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, but the, that's what I just said. <laughs> and you literally not to say what I said. I said the basket's already full. We've only been oh done like God. one. We've, been, we we've walked about a meter. <laughs> we've upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be better, isn't it? Yeah. And we can. Put them in the bag after we finish paying. I mean, yeah. we don't have to do that. Yeah, perfect. There we go. We should have done this before. We're such kids, I swear. We've got chocolate lollies in 99p. Yeah. All of those. That's the biggest bargain. And some chocolate eyeballs. Yeah. And now we found the Christmas section, which I feel like we're going to buy more. More cheese for me. Reindeers, not bunnies. Oh my god. Right, I found fake peach snaps. And what's this one called? Cocoa. Oh, it's not fake thing. Coco Bay, for how much were they? 4 29 Yeah. Bargain, let's do this. Okay, we've got one more aisle. We can do this. What? Okay. So I'm back from my lectures and everything now. I didn't film anything after we went to Aldi because we were in such a rush. I honestly had like half an hour to unpack all the shopping, to eat, and then to get to my lecture. Um, so it was pretty stressful, but I did make it. So all is good. I had a two hour lecture on placements, which has actually opened my eyes a little bit because they've mentioned a placement that is actually really interesting because you can work with educational psychologists, family therapists, arts therapists, and a load of like other group of people as well, counsellors, just everything that's kind of to do with school and education for children. So yeah, I'm really interested in that. So I'm going to research a little bit more and I'm also gonna go and speak to the placement like advisors because I need a bit more advice on what sort of placements I should be looking for and if they know any good ones to go for. So yeah, I need to try and sort that out, which is a little bit stressful because I've got to fill out a load of forms and things to send off to the uni and try and apply for these placements uh, quite quickly so yeah it is quite a short space of time that we have to turn these things around was that thunder literally a massive bang just happened i think maybe it came from upstairs what the hell okay that was weird um so yeah i need to sort out all the placement stuff and then i had a two-hour lecture for social psychology and i'm now actually about to go make some dinner because it's half past six and 
yeah, honestly, I hate Mondays because they finish so late. So I've got to go and make fajitas because oh, I just love fajitas so much. And we're trying to do like a Mexican Monday every single Monday. So that's what we're going to go and do now. And we're also going to have nachos and sour cream, that sort of thing. And then I think I'm actually going to Skype my friends tonight from home because I haven't properly spoken to them yet. I've spoken to them obviously on like Snapchat and stuff. I think I'm going to do that tonight if they're still free. And yeah, just have a chilled evening because I've got so many emails and stuff to send off and so much to do. So it's a bit stressful again, but hopefully I managed to get it all done. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go and eat because I am hungry. Right, we've done the fajitas. I need to wrap up my wrap, but yeah. We've got X Factor, we've got tortillas, sour cream, chicken, peppers, and whatever in there. What else have we got? Cheese, cheese and chive, cheese. And yeah, Mexican night is commencing. Hey guys, so it's now actually Tuesday and today is gonna be the longest day ever. So I haven't actually vlogged anything yet, but it is currently, two, is it two o'clock? Uh, yes, two o'clock and I haven't even eaten lunch yet because basically I had a lecture this morning 11 until 1 Which was another research methods one. It was like a whole new section But last night the fire alarm went off at uh, about 1 o'clock in the morning and no joke it scared the life out of me I honestly jumped so much in bed, but apparently one of the floors just pressed the alarm cord button no idea why they must have lent on it or something or just thought it was funny but it really was not funny at that time in the morning so that happened so i was really really tired this morning so i was in such a rush to get to that lecture that i just didn't film anything and then i also had a tutor meeting straight after at one until two which is now um i didn't think it was going to go on for that long but it did so i'm in a rush now because i have a three to five seminar on deaf children which as i've said before i absolutely love this module so i don't want to be late and there's only like a small group of us as well that are doing it so i can't really afford to be late so i'm gonna go and eat some soup now and then run down to that hopefully make that on time and then i was supposed to be having a choir meeting tonight as usual on a tuesday but it's been scheduled to tomorrow so i'm quite glad about that because today has been such a busy day and yeah i've got so much to sort out tomorrow i have tomorrow off completely and i have loads of work to get done so i'm going to use tomorrow as my productive day okay so i've now finished uni for the day i'm so happy about it because i am so tired so i'm now going to go and eat i think we're going to have pizza for tea because it's quick and easy i also need to have a shower after tea and my hair because my hair is looking pretty bad so i need to sort that out what else do i need to do tonight um i'm just gonna prepare for tomorrow because as i said i want a really productive day tomorrow so i'm gonna make a list of everything i want to achieve we also were told that we have presentations to do in the deaf children seminar type thing so we also need to prepare that i need to do some reading ready for next time so that we can all discuss and make the presentation so that's all fun times i really don't like doing presentations we have to do like a two minute presentation on our own so like we do a group presentation but within that presentation we each have to speak for at least two minutes so i'm gonna go and get some pizza which i'm excited about because i love pizza and then i'm gonna have a shower and chill for the evening so again not much is going to be happening this evening but yeah that's basically the reality of what my days are like at the moment because it's so busy but i'm hoping that things will start to get more exciting when i have plans i don't think i have any plans to go out this week so i need to chat to the girls and see if they are planning on going out because i want to go out at some point because this week is going to be another stressful one okay so i've just got into bed and as you can see i've washed my hair my parting's gone really weird what the hell okay we're just gonna have to leave it for now and sort it out in the morning but yeah i've just had quite a chilled evening and i am preparing for my busy day tomorrow so i'm going to try and get an early night as possible so that i can get up and get things done because i'm planning on having a productive day i say this and i always say this and then i never have a productive day so i'm literally praying that this happens because i have wednesday and also i have friday off so if i can get the work done in those two days then it will just make my life so much easier. It means I won't have to do as much at the weekends and I've just got so much to do. So I need to get on top of it all and sort my life out. So yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Sorry if today has been pretty boring and maybe the rest of the week will be a little bit boring because I have just got so much work to do. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep now and it's currently about quarter past 11. Good morning guys. So it's now Wednesday and as I said, loads of times in this vlog, today is gonna be my productive day. So I've made a list on Momentum, which if you don't know what Momentum is, 
basically it's a google chrome extension which you can download and you can basically make to-do lists and you can tick things off when you've done it i use them a lot in my study with me videos and i've used it in some of these vlogs before as well so i'm quickly going to show you my little to-do list and then i just need to get on with the day because i have like most of the day uh to do some work and then i have quiet 6 30 till 9. okay so this is what the momentum thing looks like so on my list i've got edit moving in vlog because i need to finish that desperately i honestly need a new video up so bad and then i need to email my placements leader about a meeting that i need to have with her i need to sign up to some studies so i can get my participation points you basically need like 22 points over the year by taking part in dissertation student studies so i need to sort that out i need to upload my research methods assignment onto the dle i need to do some reading for my practical report which i hope to write the introduction for as well but i think i'll probably just do the introduction on friday because i'm definitely not going to get all of this done but yeah that's my list and i'm just going to get started okay so i'm not going to lie i haven't actually had that productive of a morning it's currently two o'clock and basically my parents facetimed me and then one of my friends from home phoned me because she needed some help with something related to uni because she's doing psychology at surrey uni so yeah basically all i've done is nearly finish editing the vlog so i'm going to finish it now and upload it sort the thumbnail out sort just everything like that out and then i'm going to get on some work for a couple of hours and then sort dinner out and go to choir and yeah that's basically my day gone it's gone so quick so i'm praying that on friday i can get a lot more done because i feel like i need to spend the time getting this done and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do and i will update you when i get something done okay so i've just finished editing the moving back to uni vlog and this is the thumbnail i'm trying to figure out the text though because there's a bit of white like here which when i use a white text you can't really see it so I've kind of moved it up a little bit so it's not central but that's also annoying me because it's not central. So I'm kind of stressing out because I did change it to red to kind of go with the t-shirts that we're wearing but that didn't look right either so I think I'm just going to have to go with this and deal with it. So I'm going to upload it now and then get on with some work for about an hour and then stop for the day. So yeah I'm glad I got this video done though because I've been editing this for about a week. Okay so I've just finished printing off a load of things for my introduction for my research not my research for my practical report so basically on friday i'm going to read through all of that and make some notes so that i can properly plan out my introduction ready to write up next week hopefully i feel like that's just the better way to go i was kind of a bit optimistic when i said i was going to start my introduction today i need to make sure that i've got everything clear in my head and planned out and then it will be so much easier to write and it will take me a lot quicker as well so i'm going to do that and i'm now going to go and cook the dinner because i have about an hour until i need to go to choir so we're going to have tuna pasta bake which is one of my absolute favorite meals i love it so much so yeah it hasn't been as productive a day as i would have hoped but i've kind of got everything done that I needed to get done and I can start planning things a bit more thoroughly. I want to do well this year, I want to work really really hard on my reports and things and make them as good as I can so I feel like planning is just the best way to go. Okay so it's so much later now as you can probably tell by the fact that I have no makeup on, I've got all ready for bed because it's nearly 11 o'clock. Honestly I don't know where today has gone, I yeah I literally don't know if anybody can tell me how to you know make the most of my time then please tell me because today has just flown by so i'm gonna go to bed now and i will pick you up again in the morning tomorrow i have quite a busy day because i have two different uni type things on during the day and it pretty much takes up my whole day hello everyone so it is now thursday and i just come back from my 9am lecture i'm not gonna lie i did struggle today i don't know i think I don't really know why I struggled to be honest. I didn't really sleep that well so that's probably why. There's also a really annoying sound which is coming from like this direction and it's basically like a buzzing sound and it was going off all night. I have no idea why it does this but it does it sometimes. I didn't really have that great of sleep but I got to the lecture and it was such a long one. There was like 80 slides. I honestly don't know how she even managed to get through like most of it. She didn't get through like the last bits but she managed to get through the majority so I'm pretty impressed to be honest. Um, but I'm now about to do some work because I have my workshop two till four so I'm going to try and get some work done before that because I have so so much to do as I keep mentioning and then i might be meeting my friend later for costa i'm really not sure but i haven't seen her in the longest time like honestly the longest time so yeah i might try and see her if i can but 
it depends if she's free as well it's around what is the time half past 11 so i have a few hours well a couple of hours because i need to eat as well before i need to go to my workshop okay so as you can see i am back from everything now i don't think i filmed anything after or before my workshop so basically i had my workshop for two hours and then i met laura and humara for coffee which was so nice because i haven't seen them in the longest time honestly it's been so long so it was really nice to catch up with them and we're trying to plan when we can see each other and stuff because we've got like really really busy timetables this year and it's really hard to make sure that we've all got free time and like all can meet at the same time so we're trying to plan all that but yeah i'm about to go and have dinner now i need to get on with some more work later but i really just can't be bothered um oh i don't even know i've just got so much to do and it's really stressing me out like i'm not gonna lie this like term already has been so stressful and because the girls are so far away as well it's making it so much more stressful because i have to plan so much more of how i'm going to get there when i'm going to see them and i just don't see them that often which i'm really annoyed about because i just want to see them a lot more so i'm trying to plan when i can go around there i think i'm going around on saturday though so it's not long but it's just i don't know it's just a lot more to think about this year and it's getting quite stressful so i'm going to try and de-stress sort my life out and yeah i know i'm going to get all the work done like realistically i'm gonna get it done but it's just i need to plan my life a little bit better and make sure that i've got enough time to complete everything and yeah get it done to the best of my ability because i don't want to rush things i don't want to just get things done and hand it in i want to actually do well this year because this year does count for a lot more than last year last year was only about 10 percent, i think it was but this year is is it 30 percent or i don't know to be honest, I don't really know, but I know it's a lot more than that. Okay, so I'm currently just chilling out, as you can see, by my dressing gown. Um, and I'm just watching some YouTube. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this evening. I'm also going to FaceTime one of my uni friends, Cheska, who lives in the other house. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited to speak to her because I haven't caught up with her in a while. And, yeah, it should be really nice. But I'm just going to chill for the evening. I've decided that there's no point me doing any work because it's just not going to go in and it's just not going to be productive so i'm going to leave that to tomorrow have a chilled evening get myself sorted and then get on somewhat tomorrow because i only have a 9 to 11 tomorrow and then i have the rest of the day so yeah hopefully i can get a lot done tomorrow hey guys so it is now friday and today as i mentioned yesterday i'm getting on with a lot of work then i actually have a really exciting evening because me and olga are gonna go and see johnny english strikes again i think it's called at the cinema and yeah i'm so excited for that i haven't been to the cinema in a while and yeah it should be really fun although the only thing is i think we're gonna drive and i don't know how to get there like i know roughly where it is but i've never driven there so i'm just gonna have to guess and use a sat nav as well hopefully that will help but basically there's like a leisure park where prism the nightclub is and like nando's chiquitos and a load of other like little restaurants like frankie and benny's and stuff and then you have the cinema there as well so it is quite a big leisure park and i'm fingers crossed hoping that there is a car parking space because obviously i have to park a disabled space and there's usually not many at these sort of places and because it's going to be a friday evening at half seven i'm a little bit worried so yeah it should be interesting it should be fun obviously i'm going to bring you along with me so you can see if we actually made it but i'm really, really excited to go because i think it would just be really nice to chill out so i'm trying to get as much work as i can done today so then i don't need to worry about it tonight and yeah i'm so excited okay so it's a lot later now it's now about quarter to five and basically all day i have just been reading through all of these research articles and reports and newspaper articles and things like that on my report that i have to write up so that's been taking me pretty much all day and i've still got a lot more to do so yeah basically i have to read them through make notes on it because i have to use references and things in my report from other authors and other researchers and stuff so yeah i need to do a lot of wide reading so i can understand what i'm actually getting at so that's what i've been doing for the past few hours and nothing else has literally happened and i'm about to go and make some dinner now because we need to go to the cinema soon the film actually starts at half past seven i think it is right we're in the car we're on our way well we're not on our way obviously because i'm not driving but it what's time 25 oh it's cold in here isn't it yeah i need to get the warmers on it's 25 to 7 yeah so we have about an hour but fingers crossed we get a car parking space i'm so scared i'm really scared okay let's do this let's do, do this it. let's, let's get the music do it, do it, do it. 
<laughs> oh wow, that's great. Oh wow. <laughs> wow, I love when a camera focuses. <laughs> we've made it. Oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've made it. We managed to get space. I don't know how we managed to get space because it's packed. But there's loads of disabled spaces, so you know, all good. Um, that guy's staring at me. Yeah, and the cinema is there. Wait, you're not going to be able to see it in the picture. Can you see it? There! We can see it! Um, so we've got, what's the time? It's uh, already dark quarter now. Two. It's quarter two, so we've got 45 minutes until it starts. We were stressing and now we've got 45 minutes. Get our tangos. Yeah, we're going to get tangos and chill in the cinema, you know, because you never know, it might be a really long queue. So mm -hmm. we might as well get there. I'm excited! Buzzing! Cute! Guys, we've got our snacks. <laughs> Do a taste test quickly. Me? Yeah. You've mm. never had one. Isn't oh it so good? It's really good. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. We're going up in this weird lift, though. We think it's broken. Third floor. Oh, look behind you. Aww. Nice view. Let's go to the cinema. Olga's just told me she's never tried sweet popcorn. That's the popcorn you have at the cinema. Yeah, but savory. Only salty. You don't have... You can't tell me you're a salted popcorn person. Really? Sweet and salted together is really nice. Mm. Yeah. You have salted over sweet. I can't we believe don't that. Have sweet popcorn. You don't have it? No. Wait, is this yours or mine? Yours. Okay. It's nice. Different. Mm, we're just getting the fun now. <laughs> right, we're out from the cinema. What was your verdict of the film? The best did, film ever. Did you like it? I it, loved it. It was very good actually. I really <laughs> recommend if you want to go and check it out. If you're into that sort of thing. It was good though. But now we're all steamed up. Let me see if I can. I don't think you can. Oh my god, you can see it on camera. It's like winter. Oh my god, now the light's gone off. Okay. We're going to drive home. We don't really know where we're going. We're just going to hope for the best. <laughs> Look how dark it looks. Wait, let me turn the car on. We're going to go. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I'm now sat in bed, as you can see, and I'm going to end today's vlog, well, not today's vlog, but today's clips here. And today was actually such a good day. I'm so glad we went out as well. It was something a little bit different and got me out of the house because I have been stuck in for most of the week. So yeah, it was really lovely to go to the cinema and it all worked out okay. After I was panicking so much about trying to get a space, it was absolutely fine. So yeah, it's put me at ease that next time I kind of know how to get there and I'm not guaranteed a parking space, but yeah there was quite a few spaces so hopefully next time it'll be fine but yeah it was a lot of fun and i will pick you up in the morning tomorrow is quite a busy day i guess i'm going to the fancy dress shop at around lunchtime just to go and see if i can find my halloween costume i'm thinking i'm going to go as dorothy from wizard of oz but i'm not entirely sure so i need to just have a look see what they've got how much things are etc so i'm going to be doing that and then i'm going to be going over to the girls house in the evening for a chilled evening we're going to watch riverdale and probably other stuff as well so yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. It should be a good weekend and I will just pick you up in the morning. Good morning, guys. So it is now Saturday and today, as I think I mentioned yesterday, I'm going into town with one of my friends to go to the fancy dress shop because there's basically a massive fancy dress shop in the town centre and I'm not even joking. You've probably never seen a fancy dress shop this big. It's got like everything you would ever want. Halloween costumes, Christmas related things, hem party things. Honestly, like any outfit you need, they'll probably have it. So I'm gonna go there in about an hour or so. So I'm just gonna have some lunch before I go. It's about, what is the time? Uh, nearly half past 12 now. So yeah, I've just had quite a chilled morning. I laid in until about 10 o'clock. Then I just got ready, did my makeup and yeah, that's the plan for today. And then once I've gone to there, we're gonna come back and we're gonna order Mackies as usual because it's Saturday. And then I'm actually going over to the girls' house. I feel like I haven't been there in ages, even though realistically it's probably been a week, but I haven't driven there since the very first time I ever went there. If you've been watching my weekly vlogs from the start, then on my moving in day, I actually went over to the house to see what it was like and where I'd park and things, but I literally haven't driven there since. So hopefully I find it and yeah, it should be fine anyway. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, so I'm back from town now and I'm back from the fancy dress shop. I managed to get my dress. Basically, a bit of the story time, there was 
quite a few different dresses actually there was more than two i was gonna say there's two but there's actually more different dorothy dresses so there was one that was 30 pounds which i thought was so much money but it was like the official one it had like the wizard of oz logo and things like that so it must have been the proper dorothy dress and then i saw one which was basically i think it was called cute country girl and it was 12.99 so only 13 pounds and was basically exactly the same it had the blue checkered um pattern on it and it had a little toto on the kind of the little like apron bit that comes on it so i'm quickly going to show you what it's like because i really love it i'm so excited for halloween now because i love the outfit so much okay so this is what it looks like so yeah this is basically it it's quite short but I really really like it and I love the style it's kind of like off the shoulder and it's basically the same as my little red riding hood one last year and as you can see it has the little toto on the little apron bit and it has the kind of ribbon that does up around like the chest area but I just absolutely love this and yeah I was looking for like some stockings to go with it as well because they in like the picture it had like blue stockings like blue and white um but I couldn't find those so I do have some from last year which have red bows on but I'm not sure if I'm going to wear them or not. I might just not wear them. Um, but yeah, we're going to see. And then I also looked for some hair bows. Because Dorothy obviously has two like pink tails. And then she has these like blue ribbons bows ties around the middle so i'm gonna see if i can find them on amazon or ebay or something because i don't know what i'm gonna do i do have some red ribbon which i was thinking i could do my hair like half up half down and then tie the red ribbon around the top but i feel like blue would be better because that's what she wore in the films and stuff so i'm gonna see if i can get some ribbon and yeah it was actually really good and i found it really quickly so it was a pretty quick shop and now we're actually ordering mcdonald's it's like on its way now it's 10 past five and then i'm gonna go and see the girls and we're gonna go and watch tv and stuff <laughs> <laughs> she brought the beauties oh yeah what was he like was he nice oh yeah he was really nice what was yeah. his name was his name nadil i don't know we weren't sure what his name was apparently it was nadil or nadil was it nadil nadil i don't know i don't know about it nadil. but he asked me where we live why? Exactly. Why? I don't what did know. you say? Uh, from the other side, but we always say there. That's really weird. Why did he ask that? I don't know. Maybe, he, maybe they know that we are... Weird. We order all the time. All, all the time, exactly. Now, they don't know who orders, they just... They know the names. Yeah, but they don't know the people have ordered before because it's different people every time. Apparently we're watching Strictly at the girls' house, which I'm excited about. Got Sport Joe. Why are you smelling your drink? To see if it's my drink. Right, we're in the car again. I thought they were staring at me then. No, they're not. We're off to go to the girls' house. We set it in the sat-nav. Hopefully we find it. I'm praying. It says it's one mile. Is that right? Uh, one mile. My teeth look really... Minutes. Look at my teeth. They look so <laughs> white. white. What the hell? Right, we're gonna go. We'll see ya. Wait. I don't know what's happened to my voice, but we're gonna roll with it. So I didn't film anything whilst I was there, as you could probably tell. I literally just stopped the vlog there, um, just because we were literally just chilling, watching TV, we watched Strictly, Joe was so good, and then we watched Casualty after, and that's literally it. Like, we just chilled, chatted, and everyone was just, like, in their pyjamas and, like, chill clothes. So I didn't really want to just whip my camera out, and, yeah, I just wanted to spend some time with them. But I did manage to make it, and I made my way back okay. Although, there was someone flashing me, I swear, like, constantly, like, they were literally, like, proper flashing their headlights at me and i have no idea why i checked my lights and everything they were all on so i have no idea what happened but i think he was just impatient i really don't know but yeah that was interesting it scared me a little bit but luckily i was on my own so it was fine but i'm going to end the vlog here and i really really hope that you have enjoyed this weekly vlog this week was probably a little bit more exciting than usual just because i did go out the house a little bit more i went to the cinema and that so yeah, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you guys again in next week's weekly vlog. Bye!